it's Jackie. Okay, so I'm going to do a new series on my channel, but this is not something that I thought of. Um, I totally stole this with permission from it, it's Kirsten. She has her own channel on YouTube. She is hilarious. She is so sweet. I watch her all the time. Um, but she has a really cool name for it, and hers is What I Thought on Stuff I Bought. And it's basically like where she'll recap a haul video um, and show, you know, basically everything that she bought from that haul again and then what she thinks of it. So I have come up with my own little name as well, and it's called What in the Haul Did You Think of That? And that is the song for it. So that is what it is. It's what in the hall did you think of that? And we're going to start with, the, it's actually my very first video on my channel. And I'll link it below. And it's cute. I mean, not like I've been doing my channel for like years and years and years. I've only been doing it for like five or six months. Um, but it was the first thing that I ever did. I didn't have any lighting or anything. I was filming with my... Um, computer so it's kind of cute anyway um it was my first haul my first video so i wanted to kind of recap what i bought there and then what i'm thinking of it now okay so the first things that i mention are these roll-on shimmers by nyx um god i'm already like all swatched up with staining stuff i'll just swatch on this hand um so i had gotten it in the shade salmon and taupe now these are really really nice they roll out right onto your um eyes obviously these perform better with either you know like a glitter primer or a sticky base like um either you know like the nyx jumbo eye pencils actually work really well under these but um here they are so you can see the colors this is salmon and this is taupe i actually really like these still um I think, especially now, I would reach more for the salmon color. But, you know, these were kind of some things that have kind of gotten pushed to the back of my, you know, makeup collection. And I haven't really used them a lot. But I love them. I think they're super sparkly. I tend to wear... <laughs> Let me, I was about to say I tend to wear more glitter during the holiday season, but that is a lie and a half. I wear glitter all the time. So, sparkle if you feel me. Um, they're super glittery and love them and they're awesome. Um, the next thing I picked up is the NYX Cream Shadow in Deep Purple. Um, I do not love this. I'll swatch it for you. Um... I don't know. It was just hard. I mean, I guess if you're applying it just like that, it would be fine. And I guess maybe for all, an eyeliner or something. But it, I found it really, really hard to blend out. I've never really been able to get a look out of this that I've liked. Like, when I blend it out, it seems to lose some of that purpleness and just get kind of muddy looking. So, I don't know. I haven't tried any more of these cream shadows, but I do not love this one. Okay. This is the NYX Crystal Liner. I guess I was on a NYX kick. Because um, I had never... I think this is like the, these are the first NYX products that I'd ever even bought. And this is the NYX Crystal Liner in liquid... Or in crystal gold. Um, that's what the packaging looks like. And it's kind of like a brush applicator. You can use this as a liner. But the way that I usually um, use these... Because it's a really super duper like fine fine super fine glitter um the way I like to use these actually is just like dabbing it all over my lid um the formula of sort of gel stuff that it's in it really dries so it sets in place so wherever you put it it doesn't move I like it for you know if you put it all over another eyeshadow it won't pick up that eyeshadow or anything so I use this a lot actually and I love it um Next, I had talked about, they would given me this as a sample, and this was the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. This is almost gone right now, um, and I really, really like this. It's for redness reducing, pore minimizing, and oil absorbing. Um, I don't have super oily skin, so I don't really... And I don't know how well it really does with pore reduction, but I do find if I am red and I spray this on, this really does kind of relax my redness and it smooths everything out. So I really do like this and I would probably purchase this in a full size when I run out of it. 
Um, next, this was the Essence Gel Eyeliner. Oh my gosh, this is so great. I compared this and still do um, to, and I've used it quite a bit, to um, my Makeup Forever Aqua Black Cream Liner. They're very, very similar. This is a really great waterproof formula. I put it on with like the way I like to put on gel eyeliner. I use a really, really thin um, angled brush with it. Um, this doesn't stay as well in the waterline as the Makeup Forever one, but on my actual, you know, eyelid when I'm doing a cat eye or something, this is awesome and it's only like three bucks and you're getting a ton of it. So, worth to pick it up. Um, then I talked about, nope, I talked about this. Um, nope, that's not even it. What the heck? I must have it out. Yes, it's out right now. Okay, sorry. Um, this is the uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Studio. This is the first one I bought. Um, and this is in the shade Pomegranate Punk. Um, I, I do use this a lot. It doesn't look like it, but you only have to use like the teeniest bit. I love putting this in my crease. I love using this as a base for other shadows. It's just a really nice you know, it just warms up your eye really well. Um, like if I put it in my crease and then do like a more brown shade to kind of darken it up a little bit, it just brings that warmth that you wouldn't normally get with just the brown by itself. Um, these don't crease. I don't even have to wear a primer under these. I've worn this for a single eye look. I've paired this with another um, color tattoo. These are awesome. I highly recommend. And they're like between five fifty and seven bucks. Between you know, depending on where you find them. Um, this is, is that everything? Okay. Um, I wrote a list too. I could probably be referring to that. Um, yeah, I think this is the last thing. Um, this is the, I got this in my Ipsy bag that month, I think. And this is the Be A Bombshell, um, lip crayon in Hot Damn. And I, and it's like all jacked up from the kids using it from when they did my makeup. This is an awesome, awesome red. Okay, so it's right there. Please don't mind. Okay, I I'm filming a bunch of videos today and I had bought the Fergie, um, the lipstick collection and it's pretty darn staining. That's what I'm wearing. I'm not wearing the Fergie one, I'm wearing a wet and wild one on my mouth today. But anyway, this is an awesome color. This is so lightweight and this is so long lasting and I would definitely recommend you know, at the very least from the Be A Bombshell line, these lip crayons, because this is awesome, and I would definitely own it in more colors, but I just wanted to show you that. Um, I always get questions on what I'm wearing on my everything, I guess. I need to start trying to do a face of the day, or not a face of the day, a what I'm wearing, whatever. Okay, this is what I have on. Um, I have on my lips, Don't Think Blink Pink from Wet n Wild. Um, it's a really pretty kind of like watermelony pink shade. And then on my nails, I have Essie's um, Lapis of Luxury, or is it Lapis? Or I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. And I'm not an idiot too. I just can't right now. <laughs> And it's like the perfect periwinkle. And what else do people normally ask about? Um, on my eyes, I'm actually wearing another Maybelline color tattoo. Um, I'm wearing the shade Taupe, which I have lost. Um, it's this one right here. Oh, it's called Tough as Taupe. So that's what I have in my eyes today. And that's pretty much it. So, 